Excuse me, ma'am, can you buy me a Happy Meal? I'm, I'm trying to get my son a birthday gift, and I know it comes with a toy, and I figured I could also feed him. I mean, money's really tight right now. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, well, let me, well, let me see. I don't really carry much cash on me, but... I'm sorry to bother you and catch you off guard like this. That's okay. Um, let me see what I have. I mean, dollars. Oh, I mean, that's... Are you sure? That's I'm enough to buy the whole thing. That's that's fine. It's your little boy's birthday. I'm sorry you're struggling right now. It's fine. Take it. Well, I mean, can I... Is there anything that I could do in return to, like, repay the favor? Can I give you the change at least? Oh, no, no, no. I assist. It's your little boy's birthday. You're struggling. Well, what? At least I can do. Why would you help me out, ma'am? Oh, listen, there's so many people in need. The times are hard right now, I understand that. So we need we need people to be more helpful in giving to others. That's what's going on in our world right now. So please take it and assist. Yeah, well, I mean, it's funny that you say that because today I've asked multiple people if they could help me out. And, I mean, you're the first person to offer me any kind of help. Well, perhaps it comes from my background. I'm a retired music teacher of 42 years. You were a teacher for- Yes, 42 years. And I worked at a lot of at-risk schools, dealt with a lot of families that were in need. And I just wanted to give you this money for your little boy's birthday. Oh my goodness. So, I mean, what? Why were you a teacher for so long? I mean, what, what drew you to teaching? Because um, I love children and I music's been my whole life and I got a lot of pleasure uh, teaching music to children. Well, sometimes it was their outlet. Maybe they were struggling academically, but they come to my classroom and have fun and sing. And they remember programs that they were in when I see them out in the grocery stores, probably more than their math test they had in third grade, that kind of thing. In fact, right now I am trying to uh, raise funds for music scholarships for needy children in the community. Wow. I mean, you're such a generous person. Um, Thank so you. many. I mean, no, seriously, so many people during times like these when a lot of people are struggling, so many people tend to look inwards and worry about where their next meal is coming from. But I mean, the generosity that you're showing towards me, it's really, it's a breath of fresh air. And it gives me hope that there are still good people out there. Thank you, that makes my day. Well. What was your name, ma'am? Oh, Audrey. Audrey, I want to be honest with you, because I led you to believe that I was struggling and that's not actually the case. Really? Yeah, I, I want to give this back to you, because um, I don't want to take your money. Are you sure? Yeah, I actually already purchased this. Oh. I already purchased this and um, I wanted to give it to the first person that showed me kindness, showed me generosity. Would you accept this Happy Meal? No, no, no. Take it home to your little boy this birthday. Oh, um, I, yes, I mean, that is something that I did tell the truth. It is my son's birthday. Um, but truly, I mean, what do you get out of helping someone then if you don't want anything in return? It just makes me feel very happy inside to give to others. Sometimes mm. people become very self-absorbed and mm. kind of lose out on a lot of things that well, that way. I'm a firm believer that when you're kind to others or when you put goodness out there in the world, that kindness and that generosity always has a funny way of coming back to you. Um, you said that you're raising money for needy children um, that can't, uh, right. they can't afford music classes. Right. I think that's a great cause. And Audrey, what I'm actually doing right now is a social experiment looking for kind people like you. Really? Yeah. You showed me generosity and you showed me kindness and you didn't want anything in return. And I think that kind of generosity deserves to be rewarded. So I would love nothing more than to just give you this. Um, Happy meal. Thank you. 
Yeah, I want to give you this Happy Meal as well as what it comes with. Um, so this right here. What? This is $130. Oh my gosh. That I want to give to you. And if you look inside, there's an extra gift. Look inside. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So, Audrey, Are you kidding? Audrey, there's about a thousand dollars in there that I wanted to give to the first person that was willing to help me out today. Oh my heavens, I'm just, I'm speechless. Well, it couldn't come at a better time because this will help me with my music scholarships that I just discussed with you earlier. Well, you're, you're going to use this money for the scholarships. Correct. That is incredible. Makes you feel good. Well, look, I feel like a lot of people that are watching my social experiment right now, I feel like a lot of people can take a page from your book and learn a lot from your generosity because I think we need more people like you in this world. And, Thank you. Um, with more kindness, more generosity, I think we'll all make it out of these tough times and be okay. Thank you. I appreciate your kind words. I appreciate you and you have a great rest of your day. You too now.